Good morning. Thank you so much for volunteering. My name is Jennifer. We really appreciate you volunteering. Um, the thing that you're going to be doing today is basically you're going to be the coach, the cheerleader. You're just going to kind of help the kids along throughout their day. This is going to be your guide throughout the day. So whenever we say adult volunteers, time for team meetings, this is what you will read. Everything is scripted out so you don't have to memorize anything. It's all right in here. So whenever we say time for team meeting one, you're just going to read through here. The first thing on team meeting one that's kind of important, it says to introduce yourself to the students. Then it asks you to place your name tag on your shirt. So put their name tags on. They come with those from school. Then you're going to ask them what their title is. So right here is a... Um, list of it tells what color dot stickers they're supposed to put on their shirt or their name tags. So you're gonna say who's the CFO, who's sales manager one, they get a red dot sticker. Then you're gonna say who's the CEO, who's food manager one, who's beverage manager two, they get a yellow sticker. Then you'll say who's sales manager two, who's food manager two, they get a green sticker. Now you might not have all of those that number of students in there, but whatever their title is just give them the sticker says on there. Then the next thing it says is to read and discuss the mission statement. So just go ahead and read the mission statement to them. Then it says review the employee handbook. And what the employee handbook is, it's these yellow laminated sheets. So these yellow laminated sheets say the different titles of the people in this business. So I just hand this out to the CEO, to the CFO, to the beverage manager, to the food manager, and to the product managers. And so just go ahead and take it off this ring and hand it to them and have them read it because all of their job descriptions are written on these yellow sheets, okay? So the next thing that is important is the CFO has kind of a big job. They are at the computer. They are in charge of, first of all, putting the loan amount in. They are gonna come with a cost sheet from school and it's gonna tell them what their loan amount is. So they're gonna put the loan amount in, they're gonna hit submit, and then they're gonna start following instructions in this book. So once they hit submit, they turn the page and they're gonna start entering the employees, which is all written, just the employees of this business. It's written down on their cost sheet. They're gonna put their account number, their first name, their last name, and uh, what their title is and get them into the system. That way, all when all the employees from the restaurant are into the system, then we um, go ahead and it says, you turn the page and it says click payroll. They're gonna click payroll, they're gonna start printing the paychecks. They're gonna print right here on this printer. They need to print pay period one first. They cut that out, have the CEO sign each of those checks, and then they're gonna place pay period one in this folder. Then they're gonna go back and do pay period two and cut them out, have them signed by the CEO and put pay period two in here. That way the CFO would like them to be done with that 1020. The next thing they're going to be doing is they're going to be paying invoices. So this is the CFO inbox. They're going to be getting invoices throughout the day from invoices from other businesses. When they get an invoice, they just go to this, uh, go to the binder and it tells them how to pay an invoice. So you go over to pay bills and it shows them exactly how to pay the bills. The other thing they're going to be doing is making deposits. Um, the good thing about the restaurant, the restaurant takes cash only, and everything is either $1 or $2. So there won't be any change given back. So once they start getting money um, accumulated, they're going to need to do a deposit. The thing about the um, cash register is only a prop. It's a prop only. All it does is hold the money. So to open it, you just pull it open. You can't push a button. It just These buttons don't really do anything. So you just pull it open, and they're going to keep the cash in here. So once they accumulate quite a bit of cash, then they're going to do a deposit. And it tells them how to do the deposits in this book. They also are going to get a $65 check from insurance, and that helps pay off their loan as well. That will also go under deposits, and they will make a deposit ticket and then take that to the bank. The other thing is the um, CFEO needs to have this speech done at 1020. They just need to use a dry erase pen, and they need to have this filled out before the open town meeting. The other thing is all teachers and adult volunteers get free popcorn and lemonade. But the good news is, is the restaurant still makes money off that. So tell the kids they still make money. Um, but we do need to make tally marks um, over the lunch break. However many free popcorn and lemonades they give away, they just need to do a tally under lemonade and uh, popcorn. 
and then in the afternoon they also need to make tallies and then they're going to get credit for that. They'll cut this out and they actually get two dollars credit for that and that will go to pay off their loan as well. So the items are that the restaurant sells are goldfish, rice krispie treats, and granola bars and that stuff is going to be coming from distribution. So once the stuff comes from distribution then their job is to divide it up into the red, yellow, and green break. So right in the red tub, it tells you two goldfish, two rice krispie treats, two granola bars. So they're gonna divide up all the treats into red, yellow, and green. When it is the red break, only the items from the red break will come out to be sold. When the red break is over, they need to take anything left over, put it back in the bin, put it away, they can keep it underneath here, um, and then they need to pull out what's for the yellow break on the next break, um, and so forth. And then for the green break, only the items that are in the green bin. And then for the second breaks, they can go ahead and leave everything out, because by that point, we want to sell everything. But the reason we need to split it up is that we don't want all the good treats gone by the time the green break has a break, then they won't get off as many choices. So just make sure they divide it up into the breaks. We will deliver the lemonade during the opening town meeting. That does not come from distribution. Um, the other thing the kids can be doing while they're waiting for the things to be delivered is they can make little signs, um, price tag signs, so they can make like fill these out and use these markers and they can put, you know, like popcorn one dollar, lemonade a dollar, and then the treats two dollars and just make little price tags. Also, we like for them to wear plastic gloves. The plastic gloves are over by the popcorn maker. Um, the uh, popcorn comes in microwave popcorn, so they just need to put it in the microwave, press popcorn, and then dump it into this blue bin, and then they will also be getting popcorn bags delivered from distribution. They can have a few um, popcorns ready to go um, after that 1020 meeting. So um, if you do run out of supplies, you do need to see one of us. Don't ask distribution, only um, the people here that work at this town can help you get the extra supplies. So anyway, if there's any, oh, we do ask that the employees wash their hands throughout the day too. And also, um, we like to keep the restaurant clean. So we have brooms and dust pans over here in the corner. We do want them sweeping up and wiping down the tables. There are towels right in here, um, extra towels. And then we also have extra garbage can liners. We do want them to empty the garbage into these um, garbage cans and then they can put the extra liners in there. And we do want everyone to work as a team. Even if like the CFO isn't busy, they can still help customers. Um, if the CEO isn't busy, he can still sweep. So we want it kind of to be a team effort. So thank you so much for volunteering. If you have questions, ask us throughout the day. Thanks so much and have a great day.